um, let's imagine that you have some cryptocurrencies and somebody takes a gun and wants to transfer your cryptocurrencies to some address. Yes. Then once transfer is done, it can all be reversed. So we can go more about that. But okay. What happens? Unless you have a lot of money, you will not be able to deliver. And I personally feel that this is the main obstacle to it getting a lot of traction in the main media. Because Nobody in their own mind put their, most of their net worth into something that can be lost. Okay. I think that's a, that's a fair comment, and in fact, it comes up a lot. And forgive me if I say that it's based on a misunderstanding of the underlying mechanism. I'm, I'm actually planning a talk specifically on this, which is the difference between a system that delivers hard promises that can be softened, and a system that delivers soft promises that can't get any harder. We're used to operating in a system of soft promises, meaning that your bank can reverse your transaction if you want, or if you don't want, <laughs> because you asked for it, or because the government asked for it, or because they decided to kick you out of your home. A system of soft promises has its own problems. These blockchain systems are systems of hard promises. But you've got to understand the really, really subtle distinction. Bitcoin does not guarantee that a payment will happen irreversibly. And neither does Ethereum. Bitcoin guarantees that the contract within the transaction will be executed irreversibly. And if that contract says, without second thought, give this money here, and never look back. That is the contract that is going to be executed irreversibly. But that's not the only contract you can put in there. You can put a contract that says, this payment can only be made with a 30-day refund payment controlled by a third-party escrow signature that can resolve a dispute. And then that contract will be executed irreversibly, and your choices that you've made in there will be guaranteed. So you can simulate all of the softness that you want. You can do an automatic 30-day refund. You can do a third-party escrow. You can reintroduce counterparty risk. You can reintroduce consumer refunds. But the fundamental difference is that the owner of the money is the only one who can reintroduce those constraints. They can reintroduce them in the way that they choose who the third party is, and can very carefully tailor the conditions and controls under which any third party, or any time lock, or any other system operates. That is not an irreversible payment. That is an irreversible guarantee that the wishes you expect expressed as a consumer within your transaction script will get executed exactly that way. And right now, it's very difficult to do the more complex transaction scripts, but that's an engineering problem. And the whole point of this space is that that's just a few rounds of incremental innovation, and we can do this very easily and offer more robust, more predictable, guarantees for consumer protection than any system of soft promises. Assuming there are no bugs. Assuming there are no bugs. Assuming there are no bugs. And there will be bugs, which is why you then iterate through the bugs.